to the YouTube channel of CloudyML. This is the Statistics Interview Questions playlist and today we are going to see another frequently asked statistic questions in interview. So let's begin with the question. What are the population and sample in statistics and how are they different? So basically a population is the entire group that you want to draw conclusions about. And a sample is the specific group that you will collect data from. The size of the sample is always less than the total size of the population. So basically when you perform a study, you take some data into consideration. So the huge amount of data that you collect is the population and sample is a small portion of that data. So you see from this picture, this is the entire population, which means all the data that you have collected and sample is the small portion of that data. So basically when your population is large in size or it is geographically dispersed, that is it is present in various locations and uh, you cannot bring it in a single location or it is very difficult to contact. So at these conditions, you can use a sample. With statistical analysis, you can use sample data to make estimates or test hypotheses about population data. So basically when your sample, uh, so when your population is too large, you can use the sample to test the entire population data. Ideally, a sample should be randomly selected and representative of the population. So whenever a rand, uh, population or a sample is selected, it is selected in such a way that it can represent the entire population. So these are the four reasons that are needed for sampling. Sampling is the technique of collecting samples from the population. So the first reason is necessity, which means it, it is uh, very necessary to do sampling uh, under certain conditions of population, like the uh, conditions that we saw over here, that your population is large in size, or it is geographically dispersed, or it is difficult to contact. In such a case, you need to use the sample. Next, practicality. Uh, because being small in size, uh, sample is uh, it is very practical to use rather than using such huge amount of population. Then cost effectiveness. Your system time uh, and uh, space is saved when you use small amount of data. So it becomes very cost effective to use small samples to train your model. Then you have manageability. Again, the same reason, due to small size, it becomes very manageable to use samples rather than using the entire population. Okay, and to collect the entire population, you again need to waste much of your energy for collecting the population at one place and then making a uh, test or estimates on that. So it is better using samples. So these are some of the examples of population and sample. So first population is advertisement for IT jobs in Netherlands. Okay, so in Netherlands, there could be many IT jobs advertisements, okay, which could be in digital format, it could be in physical format, posters, banners, hoardings, then you have ads, TV ads, etc. And sample can be represented as the top 50 search results for advertisements for IT jobs in the Netherlands on May 1, 2020. So you see how specific it made uh, searching for the results. Okay? Top, only top 50 search results. And also on this day, on this particular day, May 1, 2020. So you see sample is a small portion of the entire population. Another, songs from the Eurovision Song Contest. So Eurovision Song Contest can be a huge contest in that many songs could be performed. But a sample will be winning songs from the Eurovision Song Contest that were performed in English. Okay, only the winning songs that were performed in English. So this is a small sample from this entire population. So there, in a similar way, there could be many examples like this. Now we have certain probability sampling methods. The basic two categories are, uh, sorry, we have two types of sampling methods. First, which is probability and non-probability based. 
So in probability based, these are the four commonly used sampling methods. First is simple random sample. So what does simple random sample mean is that you pick up the samples randomly. Okay, so you see this is the entire population. From that, we're picking up this, 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 this one and this one. These five samples randomly on, uh, this is generally done by creating random numbers and then picking up the uh, samples according to them. Then you have systematic sample. In this sort of pattern is followed for picking up the samples. So you see uh, in this, after every two samples, another sample is picked up. Then you have stratified sample. In this you create small subgroups of the pro uh, population, which means these are called as strata. And from that strata, you randomly pick up any of the samples. Then you have cluster sample. In cluster also, you create small subgroups of the population, but you, you pick up the entire group as the sample. Malab, here you picked up only one sample from each group, but in cluster sample, you pick up the entire cluster as the sample. Now next, these are the non-probability sampling methods. First is the convenience sample. So basically, suppose this gray person is the researcher. So what the researcher will do is pick up the samples that are very convenient to obtain or they are very convenient for the research. So you see these, uh, by denoting it graphically, they, they try to show that these are very near to the researcher. So he will pick up only these samples that are very convenient to use or convenient to obtain. Then you have purposive sample. What does purposive sample mean is, uh, there is a specific purpose for every research, for every study. So the researcher will choose only those samples that are very effective or very useful. They have a purpose for the study. Then, then we have the snowball sample. In the snowball sample, Suppose this is the researcher and these are the uh, assistant researchers or you can say recruits. So basically by their contacts, they will select another uh, samples which are uh, very useful for the uh, study or for the sampling method. Then you have the quota sample. In this uh, quota is created, like suppose there are subgroups created and from that, Samples will be picked up until the quota is reached. Suppose the quota is 10 samples. So here from each group, uh, samples will be picked up until the quota of 10 samples has been reached. Okay, so these were some of the non-probability uh, sampling methods and also probability sampling methods. Okay, so while explaining this question in the interview, basically you have to say what a population is, what a sample is, and then what is the difference between them? Explain it, uh, explain the necessity of sampling, necessity of sampling, and also some examples. Okay, you can also explain certain types of uh, sampling methods uh, so that uh, the interview gets to know that you know the topic in detail. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Do like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you.